Alright guys, so we have a new notebook to test out. This is the Asus ZenBook 14 uh, 2020 model. Okay, um, so I got this off Lazada um, from a supplier that I trust already, right? So I got it for about 57,000. Um, very good supplier. Um, so they packed everything very well. Um, it came with a free um, backpack, a mouse, and a wireless keyboard. No, um, so let's just. Uh, so the the box is pretty straightforward. This comes with Windows Pro. Okay, so let's show over the specs over here. So. Um, you can see the exact model so this is the um 342y okay um, it's a 14 inch oled so that's what's very nice about this um, computer we'll test that also it comes with a ryzen 7 5825u um, that's about eight cores at 16 threads um, okay uh, and then it also comes with a 512 gigabyte um, ssd okay um 16 gig ram uh low power ddr4 okay y5 6e and um we'll talk about the ports later and it comes with a four cell 75 um, watts per hour okay so let's open this baby up okay so let's open this baby up so usually asus is pretty nice when it comes to packaging so nice look at that so i i don't know if you guys noticed that so when you open it up the laptop actually elevates because there's like a you see that small um piece of cardboard so it pulls it up and then it's like it's presented to you okay um there you go okay um nothing here in the top cover let's take the laptop out first and let's see what else is in here um comes with your brick okay um let's check out the specs on this brick so it is a so it's a 65 watt charger okay um this thing doesn't seem to close and then it's USB-C all right um, looks pretty long okay but we're not here to review that um, let's check the other side uh, nothing here as well no okay so let's put this aside and let's check out the laptop okay um, so comes wrapped okay um, I guess these are the specs of the OLED, right? 100% um, DCI P3. Um, it comes with a million to one ratio. And then you can see the comparative versus LCD and OLED. So, I, I mean, as anyone knows, that um, OLED is, is much better in terms of battery life. So, that's something that we'll test as well. I'll, I'll run my tests and we'll go over that in a, in a bit. But in the meantime, let's open this laptop up. All right, um, so first things first, um, the top level, um, it does have that Asus uh, ZBook symbol. It honestly reminds me of a Star Trek symbol, you know? Um, and then you've got uh, an Asus ZenBook here as well. You do have like these two um, rubber uh, protruding areas here. Um, you'll see that later now because this this cover actually lifts up the backside for more airflow. Okay, um, and then here you do have a small lip as well. Okay, and then let's check the sides okay um, so you've got a USB type A and then you've got uh, exhaust panels um, you've got your exhaust panels here as well 
as well. So on the other side, you have your HDMI cable. You've got the earphone port, a USB Type C, and then a micro SD card reader as well. Okay, then you've got LCD. So this is what um, this notebook's a little note for as well, right? Um, you've got this pad here. So if if you actually press this to turn this numpad on and off, right? So here you've got your chiclet type keys. Um, it's a bit clicky, right? It's a little clicky. Um, I, I felt better keys. However, the high travel is pretty nice. You know? um, you've got your function keys here. Uh, functions over here. Pretty much standard. No? Um, there's just one thing that I really don't like about this. No? So you've got the delete button here and then you've got the power button here. You know? um, I, I, typically, I would prefer if the power button was a little further off. right? So. Um, my current laptop right now is a Xiaomi um, and the power buttons right here I, I can't even tell you like how many times I've actually accidentally pressed that no so um, you've also got a very nice um, screen to body ratio as well over here um, and then you've got your uh, webcam as well so this is what I was talking about you see this rubber um, foot right here so once you actually move it all the way down this actually lifts it up as well right it lifts up the whole laptop okay so let's power it up okay so the only reason why I wanted to power it up was actually to play with this so I hope you guys can see that um, so this numpad actually turns on right so you just have to hold it for like a second and then it turns on, no? And then you can use it as a numpad, but it also works as a mouse as well, right? So, okay, so this one actually just changes the intensity of the light of this one, no? Um, and then let's turn that off, okay? So guys, I, I did want to show you the the backlight of the keyboards um, there are three levels one two three so you can see here it shine through as well um, I did wish that the power button actually worked so this is what we came for now we wanted to look at the internals um, so you can see here the 75 watt hour battery it takes up like half of the whole unit now you've got two downward firing speakers over here You've got your Wi-Fi card here as well. Here you have your M.2 um, uh, SSD. Um, you can see that they use uh, Hynix, right? Um, would have preferred if they use um, maybe like Samsung or something, right? Um, but what's very nice is so at least this one is replaceable and that it actually has a heat spreader as well, no? Um, very nice. You don't see this that often in um, pre-installed in laptops. I'm looking around here. I don't see any way that you can expand the SSD okay so in order to remove the battery you actually have to take out one two three four five six screws no? um, so I'm not actually gonna disconnect it because I actually just want to look underneath um, so I, I really don't see um, any other upgradable part aside from the SSD no um, 
your RAM solder on. So I, I don't see any upgradable part aside from the Wi-Fi card and the SSD, no? Um, uh, underneath it is, um, you've got your mouse pad, um, that's your screen, I believe, uh, that, that's your keyboard. Um, and then you've got your Wi-Fi um, antennas up over here, actually. Well, Okay, um, so let's go over the specs of this laptop. Um, it's a ZenBook 14 OLED, uh, model number UM3402. Um, this particular one is the Ryzen 7000 series. Okay, so I got it um, for about 60,000 pesos from ZZM Trading. So they actually source this from China. Um, however, what they do is they actually go inside the laptop and they upgrade this into um, English, okay? Um, so the specific specs for this laptop is that, well, first of all, um, it's Windows 11 Pro, right? So very nice because we actually buy this for work, right? Um, and then I tested this uh, bef and I actually make these YouTube videos just to test the laptop before I send it over to um, my employee, you know? Um, so it comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 uh, 5825U uh, integrated video card. Okay, um, and its uh, base frequency is about 2 gig. Uh, I believe this hits about 3 point something, right? 3.4 um, gigahertz. Um, it's 8 cores and 16 threads. Um, and then the display itself is um, 14 inches uh, diagonal. And it's uh, 2880 by 1800 uh, in, in terms of pixel density, in terms of resolution, um, and it's 90 hertz, okay? Of course, it's OLED as well, um, and then you can see over here that it's Pantone validated as well, okay? Moving forward, it has 16 gig of uh, low power DDR4, um, and there's 512 uh, of SSD here. Now, in terms of the battery life, um, uh, this is one of the main reasons that actually stuck out here. Um, so this one actually lasted for about close to, so I have my notes over here now. This one lasted for about close to 11 hours um, before it died at 2%, right? Um, however, please note that this was at 50% brightness. So th this one right now is actually already at, um, no, this is at about 60%. So I had it at 50% uh, and the volume was actually pretty low at, 20% no? um, because I just kept a YouTube video running in the background um, just to drain the battery okay and I didn't want to really wake anyone up as well no now in terms of um, the the heat uh, when I was running this um, you could so ov obviously the the processors over here right um, and that would heat up but what's very nice is since it's a vapor chamber it's actually the heat's actually much much higher here no um, of course, if this was on your lap, it would be a little bit uncomfortable, but predominantly over here, right? And once again, you know, since the since the um, exhaust is over here, this is the intake. Um, don't block it, right? And of and of course, um, what's very nice is ASUS has a thing of using the screen as a way of propping up the back. Um, and they've been doing that very well. So I, I think um, in terms of like thermals, it does pretty well. Um, on top, it doesn't get that hot at all. Now in terms of weight, this is 1.39 kilograms. Um, in terms of its um, uh, height, it's about 16. So from here to here, no, um, I can't close it because I'm recording OBS on it. Um, it's about 16.9 millimeters. And of course, it was is much much um, uh, thinner here in the front because of this bezel um, that goes up. Okay, so in terms of uh, depth, it's about two hundred twenty millimeters, and in terms of its width, it's about uh, three hundred fourteen millimeters as well. Okay. So let's look at the um, power brick um, that uh, Asus supplied. So it is 
let's take a look here it's a 65 watt um, charger in terms of dimension it's um, 60 what's that? I think that's 64 millimeters um, by 64 millimeters and then it's uh, width is 30 millimeters okay uh, I just wish that this would flip up into here so you can pack it better um, this one you can't take out as well right so I, I wish that this was like a USB-C and they can just like um, you know remove it so at least you don't have to buy a totally new charger and then of course um, you can use the charger for something else like charging or you know so of course this is OLED what that means is that when you when you have an OLED screen it means that um, your blacks are actually deep blacks um, that means that well when it's a normal LED um, you have like light behind it OLEDs actually they light up per pixel so when it's black that means that there's no light you know it's actually not consuming as much and electricity um, so technically um, if, if you have a lot of blacks in your screen this should this should help you save more battery and of course you know um, it just looks so much better right um, you can see here also that it is um, Pantone verified so I'm not really a graphic artist but I, I can definitely say that it's actually very good no and then another thing is um, these speakers are very excellent so these are actually um, down firing speakers over here and over here um, and they sound very excellent as well no let's place something on so there you go no so okay guys um, so we're testing today so it's actually very good um, of course you know since it's down firing um, the material that your laptop is on is very important. So if if this is on your lap, it's going to sound a little bit more muffled. But if it's on the table, um, it, it will reverberate from, the, from whatever material that you have it on. And it will sound much better. Now let's talk about the keyboard um, and the trackpad, right? So in terms of the keyboard layout, so let's just bring this in a little bit closer. Um, you do have your typical function keys over here. So this one disables the mouse. So you can see here, uh, I'm moving my mouse. And then there. Okay, a uh, very nice feature. Um, you've got your keyboard light. So that's um, like uh, three settings, okay. And then this one is share screen, okay, as you saw there. Um, mic, mic mute, and let's check out the camera. So you can see it here, um, you can easily disable the camera. The camera is pretty good actually, no? um, I'll drop the specs of the camera as well. Alright, um, and then this one looks like it's a snip function, right? Okay. Um, and then... Oh, okay, so this is something that's kind of hard as well. So the function key, there's no function key here on the right, right? Uh, most lap other laptops, they do have a second function key. So I don't know what this does. Um, nothing's happening, no? Um, the other thing is that um, this power button, it's actually different from the rest of the keyboard, as you can see here. No? Um, it is... 
it actually doesn't have a backlight as well no um i i, I do like it that they've placed it like you know not on the top far top right um because i do have a laptop wherein the power buttons here and i you know i kid you not i've turned off my laptop so many times um by accident i would prefer it though if it was up here or somewhere else right um it doesn't hurt if it was up there okay now with regards to the actual keyboard so the the travel is actually very good now it, it feels very good um, of course it's chick lip now in terms of the trackpad it's actually quite large right um, and you do have this option over here right so it, it works like a normal lap uh, notepad um, but you can actually um, start typing stuff um, it's actually quite responsive as you can see in the screen no? so it's actually very responsive this one um, just lowers the light a little bit so okay let, 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 let's get into um, some benchmarks so let's start with user benchmark um, so the last time I did a laptop test um, some of you guys asked me to do a couple of other stuff this last time I just did user benchmark and then blender so okay so you can see here um, so this PC is a little bit below expectation but I've tried it it's pretty good um, I think it just needs a couple of you know maybe a little bit more tweaking but I, I've used this laptop um, and I currently have no issues with it now um, so basically like off the bat off right out of the box you can use it and it will run very well okay um, I, I think this was dragged down because this this laptop actually has a version with its own video card um, this one has a um, shared video card it's not a discrete video card okay so for obvious reasons that's why it flunked at the gaming and that's probably why it flunked as a workstation as well right but in terms of a processor it's very very good um, and then you can see here uh, so of course the graphics is a little bit down the the hard drive um, does pretty well so um, and then 16 gig of RAM is more than enough so you can see here this is the the graphics card so it just uses the Ryzen uh, integrated video video card okay okay um, let's move into blender so um, you can see here um, so we use blender 3.3.3.3 um, and I did this test over the weekend now so this is the benchmark um, let's see where it stacks in the middle um, so this is a Ryzen 5 6 core obviously much lower than it um, we're we're currently using a Ryzen 7 right so um, okay not bad um, a little bit below um, a core i9 a core i7 um, 12th gen and a core i5 Okay, um, so I, I mean definitely um, there is a Intel version of this. I would actually recommend the Intel version, right? The 12th gen Intel version um, because of the new system architecture of the Intel one. Uh, I, I've tested this before with the Lenovo one. Much better, but I think like if you compare this to the Lenovo, this is much, much prettier, right? Okay, so let's check out Cinebench. Um, so for multi-core, we've got 8,575 points. Um, and then for the single core, we've got 1,400 points. So let's start with the single core first. Um, so you can see here, um, it, it's right below the four core, um, eight thread um, Intel 11th gen. So I do think that this can be optimized a, a little bit better, right? Um, because this is a uh, older, um, generation uh, process proc um, and it is four core versus uh, in eight threads versus our eight core and 16 thread um, processor right um, but I, I think we all know that um, 
Intel actually does better as a single core, right? So you can see here, um, we've got your um, four core, eight thread, eight thread um, 11th gen i7 as well, right? So it stacks right here, right? It, it's sweet spots right here in the single core, right? Now in the multi, multi-core um this is where it starts um getting in the lead um so you can see here um it's multi-core performance is actually better than a server processor right uh, intel Xeon, um which has 12 cores and 24 threads we have eight cores and 16 threads right um and then of course you've got your ryzen here um and then you've got uh, an intel core i9 which is obviously um, much much higher on its scale as well right and then you've got Threadripper here already right um, so in terms of um, performance it's really not bad right like, like I mentioned a while ago right um, in terms of its multi-core performance okay um, so that's Cinebench um, let's move into Geekbench so you've got Geekbench here over here um, so um, these are the screen settings that we ran Geekbench in. Okay, I, I, I really just really left everything in its um, standard format. Okay, so here we have um, Geekbench. So its single core is 1137 and its multi core is 5451. Okay, so I, I, I ran this pretty recent. Um, so you can see the specs over here of the proc. Um, so its base frequency is two gig, uh, with a ma and it maxes out at three point seven. Okay, um, and its L three cache is sixteen meg as well. No, um, together with that, um, we've got two channels of DDR four. Um, I know this is uh, actually um, the low power version. It doesn't show it here, no, um, but this is this is the memory that we're using okay so you can see the single core performance okay so i'm gonna go th briefly through this for you guys and then you've got your multi-core performance as well Okay, um, so in conclusion, um, so I think um, this isn't like the laptop that you would want to get if you really want it to be like super duper, um, like really a workhorse talaga, right? However, um, it is an excellent laptop for like office work, right? Um, in terms of the looks and feel it's very nice the, the whole casing is very sturdy um, definitely i would buy this again for the office everything's aluminum um, it's it's advertised um, uh, it's here you go so it's advertised um, battery life i wasn't able to reach this okay uh, it says 19 hours here i was only able to eat reach close to 11 hours but that 11 hours is really really good okay um, this fast charging I was able to test this um, it does work um, you're you are able to hit um, close to 60% in close to an hour as well right um, and then in terms of like it working as a very fast um, computer definitely um, the Ryzen 7 hits this um, its OLED is excellent, uh, the screen is excellent, the speakers are excellent. Um, I, I would definitely recommend um, getting this. Um, it's actually pretty bright as well, so I forgot to mention that it's 550 nits. Um, so in terms of like, if you are using this for basic work um, or student or like, um, actually even, even like some light encoding, this would work very well. Um, and then if you were, use this for um, graphics or you know um, Photoshop um, definitely um, this would this would be a very very good um, purchase okay so um, once again um, thanks guys and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe okay bye